All right, what is the map? We are on the general processing units. We're first in the turn order. It is world domination mode. I did not host a lobby, somebody else did. There's four of us total. Where do we want to go on this map? There's no blizzards, okay. And any like round one bonuses I can grab very easily. This one has three, five, seven, nine troops in the way. And that's not great. This only has five in the way. This is a plus two. But can I get it? No, your six is probably in the way to get that. Plus, you know, three's in the way. Just too much in my way, unfortunately. I'm not sure I can get a round one bonus here. So we should set up for a round two bonus. Hmm. This can fortify here to protect that. A five hold, a three hold. Over here, maybe, actually. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I, I could uh, stack these right. Actually, no, I'm going to stack one here to guarantee the elimination on that right there. We'll protect this over here, and then we can fortify these other stuff into there. And then we use this because there's a plus two bonus right here. We hold these two, and then I can fortify, let's say, this three over here as well. Now I've got a plus two bonus on my first turn with a five and a four defending it. It's actually pretty good for us. And also, let's turn this on. Make sure you see this. Now, hopefully, this should be pretty good for us. That's a nice, solid start. Magenta, if they're paying attention, should be able to see this six goes into this plus two up here where they could hit this, hit this, and, you know, have this six sit here, probably like a four or three by the time it's there, and fortify that three onto there. And they've got a nice defense on their plus two, but, well, that's a that's if Magenta sees it. If they're like a novice or a beginner, they might easily not see that. It's a lot to take in to start here. Black players think about what they want to do. Also, this plus four over here on the on the X Ultra 590 GPU. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a good choice for them. They stacked four right there. I feel like the f I feel like that's weird. It's not that's not a guaranteed take on that. They'd probably get good dice and get it, right? They in fact do. Okay, that's good dice for them. They get it. But um They might be a newer player because 5e2 is not guaranteed to take it out. You can try and break me over here. You can be a good neighbor, because I can break you easily next turn. This 5 plus 3 becomes an 8. Bam. F 3 on here. 7. Bam. That's even if you break me, right? So you, you're, it's in your best interest to be a good neighbor to, to me. Now, the thing is, I don't have to be a good neighbor to you. I could break you. The question is, do I want to? You're getting, you're, you're getting two more per turn than I am, which I don't love. Um, But you have a 5 right here against me, and then a 7 up there that's not against me, but if I break you, eh, I feel like breaking you is not going to go super well for me if I do. But I also don't want you having two more troops per turn than I do. But if I go to war with you, breaking your bonus, then guess what? Red sits over here laughing and chilling. Magenta sits over here laughing and chilling. I'm better off trying to form some kind of good relations with you and trying to expand out into holding this, maybe? Or this over here? I don't know. I mean, I've got a four right here that could break red. I feel like making an enemy of every of the board is not great. If, even if my four does break the two, then this six is also just going to fall up and claim it back. I could definitely, I could, I could break red and uh, black their bonuses before you get the value of it. But then I'm making enemies, and then Magenta's got this over here, and like I, I, I feel it's just not in my best interest to break break enemies of this. Ooh, Magenta getting greedy for another bonus. That's crazy. So you're getting plus four if I let you. You're getting plus five if I let you. You're getting plus two. I'm only getting plus two. Oh, what do we do here? Hmm. I don't love you getting plus five. I can't break both of you. If I break either of you and make an enemy, I could try to grab another bonus for myself. Problem is there's five in my way. I gotta defend mine. I think I'd rather um, stack two here, four here. And say, hey, a plus five, it's a little ambitious there. And maybe the black player wants to break your other bonus or something. I don't know. Who knows? I've made Magenta mad by breaking them, but not as mad as I would have made the black player from breaking theirs. Now, if they want to stack eight on that three and take an 11v7, good odds they break me there, but well, then I just self-destruct my other seven onto you. Plus three of my turn is ten, and GG, we're both kind of out of it. Interesting match here. Interesting match. I got these over here. Oh, you are going to break me. Or you might grab my tube. I think they're going to try and break me here. I think this is a big mistake on Black's part. A huge tactical error. Or maybe they just want to defend against me. They might just want to defend against me because they don't trust me not to break them. 
I mean, they just, they just saw me break magenta. Okay, that's fine. They just don't trust me. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. They, if we can have an uneasy truce here. Are alliances turned on? They are. Offer you an alliance. Offer well, red an alliance. You know, maybe we can get along. Yeah, let's be buddies. Show them the love. Here we go. Maybe I can offer you an alliance and we can let bygones be bygones, maybe. Probably not. Worth a shot. We'll see. We'll see. I just don't like the idea of two players getting, you know, a plus five bonus here, a plus four bonus, while I'm only getting a plus two. Problem is I can't break all of you. I can't break all of you. Too many people getting bonuses too soon. What do alliances do? Really not much. Um, if there's Fog of War uh, mode, uh, then your alliance lets you see what your allies can see. In regular mode, all alliances do is just like kind of a, a way of communicating, hey, let's get along. But they don't actually like give you any gameplay advantage or anything like that. In Fog of War, they give you advantage by letting you see each other's territory, but we're just offering an alliance to everybody and ask for it, right? Six troops for you. It's way to, it's way to make attacking someone hurt more. <laughs> That's a good answer. Hey, Jacob, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome in. How are you doing? I don't know if I mentioned or not, but if you guys are watching this as a YouTube video, after the fact, this was streamed on twitch.tv slash cgplayslive. I'm talking to chat here, but I don't... I might have said that already. Sorry. I've been streaming for almost three hours here having the, like the worst luck I've had in a very long time and struggling to get a win here. Normally, like yesterday, I got like what? I think it was three wins in about three hours. Pretty decent win rate. Today, woof, not one. Horrible luck. Like the dice, like the, the spawn points have been, have been pretty bad for most matches. I've had pretty bad luck with, um. that's just them attacking a one stack for a card there. It's fine. They left three there, though. It's interesting. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Um... Do I want to go for another bonus? I don't like you blocking this. Oh, wait, you made it easier for me to grab this. Oh, I doubt I get to hold this. Do I try? Do I try and grab and hold this? I doubt this happens, but we'll we'll try here. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. It's ambitious. It's greedy. There's no way Magenta lets us hold this. I'm just going to move these down. Um, frankly, down to here. It's worth a shot just to see if they'll let it happen. There's no way all three of them let me hold that plus four, but well, I'm curious. I'd like to see who's going to break me. Probably Magenta. But this will give me good information about the way these players act. It didn't really cost me that much in the way of troops to do it. Uh, they've got, I've got 44, they've got 46. It's kind of even right now. It's fine. Um, okay, the black player breaks us. They are, in fact... A bad neighbor. They are a bad neighbor. They broke me. On purpose. And they went all the way in. Alright, well, it's good to know. Now we have information about the black player. They are a bad neighbor. They did not accept my alliance. They broke They broke my plus four, even though I never broke their plus three when I easily could have. Good to know. Or they just don't want me getting... You know, same logic as me breaking magenta, right? Alright, well, that's fine. That's fair. I don't get... These want, they want to keep me holding a plus two to their plus four. All right. Concern here now is, well... What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I mean, if we keep it... I mean, just try and keep it down to where... Nobody's getting too many bonuses? Like, how do we how do we get ourselves an advantage here? Is there some bonus I can, like, rotate to that's going to be stronger? This over here is a one, two, three, four point hold for plus four, that's not very good. Honestly, he's got, got the, kind of got the best one on the board for... If each of us is only holding one bonus, he's got the best one. It's a two-point hold for plus four. Um, I mean, the highest bonus on the board is a, a plus four, aside from the plus five that psh, nobody's going to hold, right? So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the best spot on the board. Two-point hold for plus two is all right. Two-point hold for plus two is all right. This guy's got a one, two, three-point hold for plus two. It's all right. Hmm. So if we're not going to... You might hear my, some neighbor car idling noises outside. So if nobody's going to be able to get another bonus here, how do we advance this game to give ourselves an advantage is the question. Six troops for us. And let's... um Hmm. Let's stack one right there. Get for ally. All right, give him the heart. They accepted it late. Let's stack these right here. I'm going to hit this right here for a card. 
and fortify this over to here. Okay. All right, so I attacked Magenta. They probably don't love that I broke them, but they haven't tried to claim it back, so they may not be too worried about that. We haven't bothered with their other one, right? Um, seems like we have some fairly patient players. Kind of doing all right here. Looks like Black and Iron is going to keep stacking ours. Basically, what we want is for people to... Like, how do we facilitate getting other players to go to war with each other? We might just need to wait for the red player to get greedy for another bonus and have other people break them. Maybe the black player starts hitting them. Like, it's... The black player is shown they won't let us hold another territory unless we, like, firmly defend it, which we can't because most of these other territories are, like, three or four point holds. Like, we could try to grab this. If Magenta moves this four out of the way, I could try and grab that and split my defense once all three, but I don't think... The black player shown they won't let that happen. Red player's over here just defending over here. Five trips from Magenta, eight, eight, and six. So there's defending over there. So as long as long as we all just keep card trading and passing things along, this is just going to end up honestly in a pretty nice scenario for um, the black player just slowly pulls farther and farther into the lead. We need to find. We need to create a, a, like a disparity of troop income somehow. Which, if we could build some alliances and actually get to hold some bonuses, be good. What could I do? Um, I could try and work on reducing blacks getting thirteen territories. I could stack here, slam, slam, take away some territories, you get less bonus that way. That works. And that does that free that's fifteen stack to leave that way, but honestly, it doesn't really matter that much. Um. Actually, I can over hit over this way, make them think I'm trying to grab this, right? Maybe that's what we signal to them. I'll make him think that, oh, I'm going over here. When in reality, my goal was to reduce their troop income by one. They only have 11 territories, so they only get seven troops this turn. Maybe that's the trick, is just to have more territories on the board. I've got 15, I'll probably lose some. Stacking over here, you can try and grab this bonus. You got, stack here, stack here. What are you trying to do? Try and push red out of this part of the board. No, you're not. Well, I don't know what you're trying to do. Trying to fortify up to here to be. Are you trying to put? You're trying to. Oh, you're trying to. Oh, this is actually good for us. The black player is posturing on Magenta's borders, threatening to break them. That is something that a lot of people will take very personally. If I'm Magenta, I'm not loving what the black player is doing right now. This is great. I sit back, I try to maximize the, the number of troops on the board that I have, try to, min, try to make sure nobody else, like 11 or below, you just get three troops for having that. If you have 12, you get four, if you have 15, you get five, that's on top of whatever bonus you have, or capitals, if it's capitals mode. So I just make sure that, you know, if it comes around to me, black has 13, I slap a territory or two of his, come back down 11, there you go, or maybe I don't. Maybe I let him keep stacking on Magenta's border, and Magenta gets mad, and Magenta eventually slaps that 11 stack, and well, there goes the black player's vanish. Can you show the bonuses again? Sure can. Four, 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 two, three, two, four, five, three, two, and four. They're mostly fours. Mostly fours. All right, so Magenta's turn. They got five. They might be thinking about card trading on four. I don't know why they would. Yeah, they're not. They stack over here. Are you going to break red? Oh, they're going to hit my four stack. Oh, no. I need to get that four out of there, but I... I don't really have where to move it. Just getting a card, okay. I think, uh, so they don't seem to mind the black player stacking against them. They left. They see that black wants to break them and they straight up dipped. Force card trading five for us here. We get four plus two for this is six. All right. We take. We got 10. I wish I could get this four out of the way. They're going to slam it. I could turn it into a three and slam that. I think black would probably take it personally if I did that. If I scrap a card right here like this, they probably wouldn't notice, right? Um, I think we stack you know, this right here for protection. And we hit this over here for a single card. And then we fortify, I don't know, this over to here. Just I just want the black player to think that I'm just stacking it over and over and over on here. And, and I'm just getting cards, and I'm hoping they're not paying too much attention to the fact that I keep knocking them down below 12 to reduce their income, because, well, they already have the highest income with the easiest defense on it. They're stacking over there. It's like they're priming for elimination, maybe. Six troops for the trade-in. Force trade on five. Okay. 
And that over there, that nine probably hits my four, I imagine, right? And they do break magenta. This is good. This is good. The black player's making enemies. This is fantastic for us. Yes. You're making enemies. Hits my three. You're going to try and grab that VRAM bonus? There's no way. You broke magenta's bonus. It's crazy that magenta just left them have it. And they, hit, they hit me over there. Ooh, they're trying to... You're going to, hit, you're going to make enemies off every at the same time? You broke my bonus early. I tried to grab an enemy out of me. Broke their bonus. Made an enemy out of them. Hit my stack here. Hit my stack here. I think this is good. I think this is good. This is what we need. We need somebody to get a little too confident. A little too aggressive. They do fortify strongly against me. That makes sense. This is good, though. This is what we need to have happening is... The black player is now going to be dealing with me and Magenta at the same time. And they've freed a path for Red to go towards them. And they are... Well, making an enemy out of the whole world. Um, looks like Red... I think Red is going to ignore this. While the two of us fight the black. While they try and grab this is a concern. And it's something I need to worry about. I will say these players do take a while on their turns a little bit. They're defending up there. Okay, make sure... Let's make sure nobody's bots. Oh, you're still here. I got the Alliance handshakes. No, they're still there. They grabbed that. Took out Black's two behind there. Can't see, but they took them out. I guess they sent it right in. But they got that there. I should probably move my two out of there, because they're going to smash through that right. Let's uh, see. Zero says, bad play from Black. Don't understand that logic. Good for us, but I don't understand they did that. Um... I mean, some player, a lot of players just have the mentality of, I want to have as many bonuses as possible, while making sure my enemies have as few bonuses as possible, and they treat the other players like they're AI, that don't hold grudges or have feelings, or remember things. And, um, that, this, that might be what the black player is doing. Because they're defending theirs very aggressively, they're breaking other people's bonuses whenever it's easy for them to do so. Magenta grabs that back, okay. Alright, so, but I don't want to be the one to break them. Uh, what I want to have happen here is find a situation where I can grab and hold another bonus, which Black seems disinclined to let happen. Oh, all right. What do I want to do here? I could stack six here, hit this, fortify that back over to here for safety. Maybe. Black's got 14 territories. I don't want them getting any more bonuses than they should. Um, them getting one extra troop is not that big of a deal. I think we just, uh, frankly, we just stack these here. We hit this for a card, and then we uh, fortify this back over to here. And I feel like Black is the kind of player who is going to make things happen by making too many enemies. Because I think what's going to happen pretty soon is the red player. I would prefer to be the one playing aggressively and all that, but fortunately, I, I kind of can't. Black player, I, I've I've dangered the relationship with Magenta by breaking this. The black player has shown they're more than willing to break a bonus. I, it's I can't really hold a second bonus. Um, I really wish I was over in Red's position on the side of the board where the black player is not as strong. Like the fact that I'm touching borders with the guy who's most aggressive on breaking other players, that's super great for in a, of a spot for me here. They're thinking about card trading on three, right? Maybe. I mean, eventually we get to the point where we are, the bonuses don't really matter a whole lot. I should instead focus on having all my troops on one stack position for eliminations, whoever's low on troops. But the problem is nobody's low on troops right now. Everybody's playing it really, really safe. And we've all got fairly even bonuses. So not a great spot to be for wrapping things up. But maybe in the next turn or two, I fortify everything onto one big stack. Maybe like, like honestly, here or here, probably. And then try and tr eliminate black. Realistically, what I want to do is, yeah, I mean, it won't be right away, but eventually let's get the black player squished, squish, squish their territories down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, that'd be great. If we can all work on squishing down the black player's territory so they become easier to eliminate, we take them out, right? That'd be good. Like, I, I, I need somebody to smack that out of there so I don't have to, like, cut across to hit that. Because eventually, like, I, need something, I need something to grab this as well, because if they free this, I have everything fortified here eventually. Bam, 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 bam. Or like, bam, 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 split, hits this, go through here, I'll hit all this, end there, and this cleans up the job over there, maybe? Magenta reading my mind? 4v1? Read my mind? Make it easier? 
push the black players they have less to the board? Magenta reading my mind? Maybe? Remember, I do have an alliance with Magenta. Maybe that's why... I mean, I've been attacking Black's territories exclusively. Maybe that's why uh, Magenta and Red are not attacking me, maybe? Maybe they also see that the Black players have been getting the most troops per turn and they're doing pretty well in troops, perhaps? Could be good. Let's get these. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Making it easier. No, you do force me to attack when yours are territory. Or else we go... Here's a problem. You got eight stack over here. Um, what I could uh, your 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 four stacks guarding that, so I can't push through it. I could try to get this one out of here. Um, I don't want to hit that eight. I don't have access to this. I could, I don't have I don't have access to these. I want to hit the black territories by can. He's not eleven already. Um, and what do I do here? I I think we just stack one here, the rest here. This hits over towards here. Hopefully the red doesn't have a problem with this. And I don't really want a fourth thing yet this turn. But just inch my way towards keeping you pinned in. Would be good. I want to, I want Magenta to slap that. I slap this. And then I can fortify this over to here. And I've got a straight line through this to hit you here. Maybe here if you break me, split, leave three. Hit here, hit here. Then I can go actually through here all the way over, all the way over through this. Actually, that's the nice, that's the nicer path to do it. Here, 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 through all this over through here, and then the black players out. I get their cards. I mean, I would probably need to do it next turn now that I think about it, because um, you didn't have a card trade in forward to give me five cards. Problem is, the card trades are like not really big enough to justify taking out seventy troops. You've attacked down that way, freed me another path to go as well. Can also just reverse up this way, like this. So job done too, once this and this are gone. Need Magenta to get that out of there. Alright, Red just gets a card trade there, that's A-OK -okay with me. Doesn't bother me none. That's fine. Red just sitting back, slowly building up over there. Very, very patient players. We're all, we all seem to be thinking about the same. Well, not really, I wanted to try and grab another bonus. Realistically, what you want to do is try to like, form an alliance with somebody. Hey, I'll, I'll hold two bonuses, you hold two bonuses. Maybe I could try to do that with Magenta earlier, but I'd break them. You know, some mistake on my part. You're kind of blocking him from holding that. And you hit this. Here's a problem. Okay, that's good. Maybe I'd let you hold that. Maybe I'd let you hold that plus three. Honestly, black will probably break. I don't need to. Um, I could push you out of here. In the Actually, here's the question. Do I want to push the black player out of there right now? I mean, Magenta can push them out if they want to. I don't think I want to push the black player out of there. I want the black player to be able to stack troops there. Here, here. Hit this. Break you. Further antagonize and weaken the relationship between you two. That will benefit me. Um, I can just, uh, I mean, the red player hit me for a card last turn. I can just kind of, uh, do the same thing. Force card train of five here, plus 12, all right. I don't want you to know what I'm up to right now, so I'll split them for now, but the turn before I'm going to take the black player out, I'm going to hit this, like so. Fortify him away, so it's less antagonistic. I think the black player, by now, probably knows what's up with me hitting their troops, their territories, like almost exclusively, they might be wise to what I'm planning. They're probably trying to think of what they can do to stop it. I do want to leave them the chance. If they're the kind of player that only sees bonuses, like I don't like you have two bonuses. Maybe they stack here, break that. Maybe I shouldn't have fortified back because that does signal that I'm trying to keep a guard on that territory. Depends how aware they are. They have card trade on five. They're taking their time thinking it through about which ones they want. Now the question is, I, I mean, what's the card traits? 15. Kind of needed them to be bigger to take you out. Realistically, realistically, what I want is for, I don't really want to be the first one to make a move towards elimination or something like that. I want, I mean, I guess we could, actually what I could have done is try to like just grab this. I could have, oh, that's what I should have done. I should have hit this, hit this. I grabbed this bonus, let you hold theirs. And then, um, the black player to break either of these bonuses has to, like, yeah, yeah, oh, that's so, that's, that's so much better. I mean, to be fair, red probably breaks this, but if Magenta and I can f get, ooh, yeah, that is not great. I hope either red or Magenta breaks that so I don't have to. Um, I'm not letting you hold a plus nine. If we push red and definitely black out of here, Magenta and I can divvy up all these bonuses between us, and we've got a one, two, three point hold 
where either black or red has to push through big stacks to break us from holding these bonuses, and that gives us advantage compared to the rest of players, is actually extremely advantageous for us. Ooh, is red thinking about slamming Machinda's 13? Uh, I mean, that would progress the game. Maybe we can pivot towards eyeballing red or magenta for a uh, kill for cards, if need be. No, red's just getting a, uh, getting a card there, that's fine. Does not break black, or is he going in to break black? He's trying to grab their bonus. Oh, I see. Red's like, hey, yo. They'll hold their bonus. Black holds their bonus. See, this is... This is... Yeah. If Oh, if black and red become good neighbors to each other, that's a problem for myself and Magenta. This is what we don't want. It's the two of them holding bonuses. I mean, it's progressive this late in the game. Not that huge of a deal. I mean, it's it's round nine. It's not the end of the world if somebody's holding bonuses, but I, I prefer they not. It still does matter a little bit. If you push black, I force Magenta's hand. Maybe. Could do. Uh, it's a big paragraph to read, honestly. I try not to read whole paragraphs like that. So you stack right there. I don't love you stacking that 12 against me. That shows you don't trust me. Um, even though I could clearly break it somewhere else. I don't think Magenta's going to be on board with... Or think about... I don't think Magenta is on board with the plans of us divvying this up between us. They have this right here because they don't trust me. They're trying to grab another bonus. You gonna break red? You break black, that's great. That's great for us. I like this. I, you know what? I sit back. Oh, please break red as well. Oh, this is beautiful. This is exactly what I need. Magenta has made enemies of both black and red in the exact same turn. I'm not breaking Magenta. We're the homies. I don't eliminate this because I want Black to have the option to put troops here to slam this and slam this and break them. I let them stay as the bad guy. Instead, what I do is I stack some here to try and grab another bonus for myself. All sneaky cheeky like. Doubt we get to hold it. Black probably breaks through it, but in case Black decides they don't want to break through it, well. Um. We do this. Maybe Magenta and Black let me hold this. I mean, Black let Magenta hold that last turn. Maybe they, oh, they stacked all right there, so... They're, it seems like the Black players, they seem disinterested in coming in here to break Magenta. They don't really seem too interested in that. They're more focusing in their next bonus. Okay. They're no longer interested in being a bad neighbor. They're more interested in getting their next bonus. Alright, so in red... Red reclaims theirs, and they break Magenta. They probably break mine as well, because it's in the way towards breaking Magenta's next one. That's fine. Anything that gets players fighting against each other is good for me. Normally, I like to be the aggressor, but frankly, the winning strategy in a game like this, where everybody's pretty even, is just to play the social political game and try to get along with everybody and see if you can maneuver a situation where one player is going to be kind of, like, targeted a little bit. Realistically, what red and black are doing over here, they're, red and black are being good neighbors. Red's trying to hold all this. Black's trying to hold all this. That's what Magenta and I need to be doing over here. Because we've actually got more bonus over here. They've got 5, 9, 12, 14, 18 to split up. We've got 2, 5, 9, 11, 15, 19 to split up. I guess it's about the same. What we need to do, they're attacking over here. You can push a black player out of here. Interesting. Ooh, are they self-destructing now? Are they going over to try and break? What's, what, oh, you're, they're coming over here to break red. This is, you know, I don't need to do anything. All I need to do is sit back and let Magenta self-destruct. I can look for opportunities for myself to hop in. That's fine. Five troops are us. Let us keep weakening up their troops. I can try and reclaim bonuses. I could try and... I could push you out of here, but frankly, the, the, having the possibility of you messing up them at some point is fine. Also, potential kill guards, right? Um, I could hit this right here for a card. You've got a lot of you've got a lot of territories, honestly. I think what I could do is um you know show Magenta that hey look at me. I'm I'm attacking these guys over here that broke you. Be like a friendly how you doing neighbor moment. And uh maybe that kind of keeps the wrath of Magenta off of me. Like, you know, signal to Magenta that's me and them versus red and black. But it's mostly them. For whatever reason, they're doing most of the legwork for me. Great, I'll, I'll, I'll let them. Hey, Jack, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Alright, so... That's fine for us. I need to... What are the card trades at? 30. They're reaching the point where we should be thinking about eliminating. I should have probably fortified my troops into one stack last turn to, pro to position myself for elimination on the black player. They're down to only five territories. They do have the most troops, though. 
but they're also the biggest threat on the board for us. Ooh, maybe I don't need to. You're gonna go in and break that 15 stack, aren't you? And lower both of your troops. That's great for us. Love that. Honestly, I don't need one stack. I just have this hit this, lower it a lot, and then this one follow up and clean up. No, you don't. You don't break. You don't break. You're very patient. You're very, very patient. And you're getting the biggest bonus every turn, which is helping out a lot. That big bonus has got you like nine troops ahead of me even though you've taken more hits because you've had the extra two troops return for a while now hmm how do we advance this game magenta's advancing it for us i don't love games where like the winning strategy is what i'm doing right now like the winning strategy in this game right now in this circumstance is just to sit back and let everybody else let one person get impatient to slam each other first i prefer that to not be the case i prefer there to be like a, a balance on the uh, on the board where like i get strong early and have multiple territories that i can slowly push that advantage, but, well, frankly, I'm I'm the low man in the totem pole, but it's so, it's even enough that being the low man in the totem pole is not that big of a deal. You just need to sit back and frankly, let people get bored and self-destructing with each other. You watch my YouTube content, you love my content. Hey, glad you enjoyed it, Jack. Hope you're having a great time watching it. We're trying, to get, we're trying to get some more videos here for side channel on the stream here. Been an unlucky stream. Hopefully this match will, you know, end up nicely for us. I'm being very patient here. Very, very patient. I would love to get the 16 stack out of here, but if I slam that, Red's not going to appreciate that, but what they can do about it? Slam my 37 stack? Maybe, maybe I work with Magenta against Red and Black here and slam that out of here with the card trade. I like that. The Magenta player has pushed the Black player out of here. They tried to grab that bonus. I find it unlikely either of them will let you hold that. But it's my turn. We could push Red out of here, fortify everything over to here, and really solidify the fact that it's me and Magenta versus black and red and I think it, re, blacks can be mostly mad at magenta because I've been I don't think I've done anything to black I mean yes I'm tired of territories but the fact that I've got 39 37 kind of hard to crack through right there we go they fortified out so I could have that I mean I could just try and grab that they want me to and if they want me to have that I'll try and grab it I don't know if they want me to have it or not oops card trade here uh give me that I'll grab that I don't know if they'll let me keep it or not I'm also going to, like, slap Red out of here. They'll be mad about this, but well, what they can do is slam my 37 stack over there. Only lost seven. That's great for us. No, no, no. Don't do that. Hit this over here for a card. Get that bonus. And then we are going to fortify this over to here. And now, maybe Magenta and I can split this over here. And we've got a one, two, three point hold defense against Black and Red. Just kind of how these team alliance. It's like I, I, it's funny how I broke Magenta at the start, but now we're kind of like getting along. Sort of. And, but the nice thing about this, like, for them to break us, Magenta can stack everything right here if they just trust me. I still gotta do two to defend against you. Now this turns into a situation where, ooh, 35 troops. I mean, if they want to crack me here, they, if they want to stack here and crack me here, they can. They don't have enough troops to eliminate me. I think they just want to defend against me. That's fine. Now, for them to defend their borders, it's a one, two, three border defense against us. But it's gonna be most. But it's gonna be all black splitting a, amongst three locations. Whereas we're splitting the burden of defending three borders between us. They're breaking magenta. That's fine. This is working well for us. This is working really well for us. Kobe says maybe we should kick it right out so you can get an extra bonus. Agree with Kobe. Push right out. I read those late. So I did that like a minute or two ago. Sorry, I don't read chat. Uh, Frequently enough, my I, my brain is hyper focused on the game. And I just glance at chat occasionally. Black players trying to grab and hold that bonus. I think it's what's going to happen is nobody's going to grab this. So how's this going to work out here? Ten for you. You get six from that. I get six from this if Magenta lets me hold it. Red could try and crack me there. We we're going to constantly break this. I mean, I hold this there. That there's six for me. You hold this and this. That's seven for you. You hold this and this. That's six for you. Oh, please. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, no, really? Are oh, you going to eliminate Magenta? Oh, no way. And you lost 32 horrible dice. Horrible dice. Oh, I did not expect Red trying to eliminate Magenta there. Oh, man. They, you need to you need to commit. You need to commit and hope for good dice. Bam, 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 leave three, bam, leave three, bam, leave three. You leave nine just hitting those. You can't. You can't. You don't have the dice. You lost too many bad dice. Bad dice, even if you had won that. I mean, 45, oof, 45 and five cards. If they had gotten better dice, that could have been a game-winning move for them. Here's the problem. 
my ally is the one who's going to be defeated here. And uh, we're, we're going to be in a bit of trouble here. Oh, I mean, well, maybe not. They have a card trade. Yeah, they can't. You can't. Just because you have to split and leave three every time. Well, it won't happen. Nope. Close. They're going to card trade for 45, which is a lot. They're going to card trade for 45. Hopefully they slam it on red. And if I'm lucky, I can chain a double kill on Magenta and red if Magenta slams red, which they probably will based on what just happened. Because Magenta has no chance now. I need Magenta to card trade. Take that 45. Roll through red. Then what I do... Do I have a card trade? No card trade for me is very, very, very unlucky. I needed a card trade on three here. I'm getting so unlucky with my card trades on three today. I need you to slam red with everything you have. And then I need my 61 stack to be enough to eliminate red. And I take their three cards. And that gives me five for a card trade of 50. Then I eliminate... Do I eliminate magenta for that? My five becomes down to two. No, my... No, I, my... My three... You're not focusing... Oh, you're focusing on reclaiming your borders. You still think you're in this. You're not slam... You're not self-destructing in red. You're, you're, you actually think you're in this. Okay, never mind. They're not giving up. They're not giving up. Okay. So... That's a thing. I can break red's bonuses. I can... Wait, how many troops do you have over here? Uh, I can break both of red's bonuses. And at least stop that. I mean, at this point, I might... I probably want to put all my troops into one big stack. Bonus is really nuts. The BL end at this point, so you did not self-destruct on them. No card trade here. Uh, 66 stack. Here, 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 three, here, three, here, three. Bit of around here, here. I could take you off for three cards. Get an immediate trade of 50. Makes up for most of my loss and slight gain. No, I just, I just, he's got 131 troops. That just feeds them the win. I could break red. I could break red. Make sure they're not too strong. I mean, red's not that strong in the first place. If I break red now, they, um, it's not that big of a deal. But I don't, I mean, that means they have less to smash magenta with. Um, I could hit black, have the attacker's bonus. They have a card trade three. I'm in trouble here. Unfortunately, I think we just remain Switzerland here. We remain Switzerland, get a card, get one big stack for the actual elimination. I needed Magenta self-destruct on red. If Magenta self-destructed on red there, I clean them both up, get their cards, and beat black in the 1v1. They had a card trade on three all day with the bad luck. Three hours straight of bad luck. If I had a card trade on three, I could eliminate somebody and another person and change it together. Could I please, at some point, any time during the day today, Get a card trade on three so I can actually win when it's time for me to win. Though, like, this is a winning move for red because they got a card trade in three and did not. They are in a position to eliminate somebody. I mean, I could have done it without the card trade, but like, man. Oh, man. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens here. I mean, I guess I could have eliminated somebody. Uh, I mean, if I had eliminated somebody. Basically, what I needed was a card trade on three and push somebody else with five. Did it really make a difference? I'm not sure it made a difference. If I, even if I had a card trade on three and I pushed somebody else... And I get the three cards, there's no mini card trade, so yeah, I'm, I'm overreacting for no reason. That doesn't make a difference. They screwed up! I just realized they screwed up and pinned their 74, they misclicked. Uh, but they can still they can still grab it with this, doesn't matter. But that is that is still good though. That is still good though. That is still good though, because their 74 is pinned. Their 74 is pinned, which means I mean what they'll do is they'll tack down to here, push you out. It's gonna be harder for them to chain a double kill here. You hit that one, go for this, and then go for this, and you're going to hit here, 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 and here. That's fine. But you're going to have two stacks trapped over here. You'll have... You'll get a card trade. You don't get... Oh, because it's only a three, you don't get another media card trade, so you got three cards. You'll end your turn with four. Here's the thing. I've never done anything to bother uh, Red. I've done nothing to bother Red this entire match, for the most part, I think. In fact, I did not break them last turn. And Red has shown they're more than willing to break a bonus when you have it. What I can do is I can... All right, well, you can fortify that, too. I can break a lot of your bonuses. I can try to eliminate red for cards. All right, they got plus 10. Uh, if you, let's go with a card trade. 55. If attack black, thumbs up. I'm down for that. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. Yeah, yeah. Me and red can work together against black. That's honestly what we should do regardless, unless I can chain a kill on them. That's what I'm also trying to figure out. 
They don't have a car trait on three, which means, I mean, I've got a, I have a car, wait, do I not have a car trait? Variable inductor. I've got a car trait, not sure why it's not popping up, but I do have a car trait. Norm normally, even when it's not my turn, I click this, it just goes boop, boop, up to there, but I do see like, um, uh, three different unit types. Um, that gives me a car trait of 55, sorry for clicking that so much. Gives me a 157 stack, takes you out. My four becomes one, but I get your four. Honestly, I take out red for cards and then use that to attack the black player? Maybe? Would that be enough, though? I would, I would, I would take you out, your 58. Does it give me the lead I need to take out the black player? Honestly, what Red's doing here attacking him is fine. I hate stabbing Red in the back here like this, but I feel like stabbing Red in the back here might be the winning play. I don't want to, though. But the card trades are where now. It's kind of like, it's kind of the thing to do. 55 troops. And I, I spend 55 troops to take you out. Get your four cards. Gives me like 60 back. Then I try to beat Black in the 1v1. I do feel bad about this. But it's the winning play. I kind of wish we didn't have the alliances on, so it just kind of happens naturally. I could, do I take out black first? Maybe I take black. Maybe I take out black first. They've got four cards. I feel like red has. If I, you know, as long as I can secure the kill on black, honestly, I might be better off killing black first. One, it's harder to screw up because they've only got six territories on the board. And if I, you know, as long as I secure it, Red only has 52 to try and beat me with. They have 122 troops. Uh, I think I think that's actually going to be the, 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 the safer play. 160. Yeah, that's the safer play. In case I screw up or something, get you out of here. We attack uh, that. Only leave three behind. We take you out of here. We give second place to the homie. That is the red player over here. Do some damage. We break a lot of your bonuses in the process. We help out the homie that was the red player, so we don't have to feel guilty. Now we're fairly even on troops, slightly do, but I have a card trade here. I do not make the same mistake the black player made. Card trade here for 60 gives us a big advantage. Um, We're going to need like... Maybe like 11 over there. Let's try 9. And then a bunch over here. And see if we can't uh, work on getting a double elimination this round. Okay, we hit this. Leave three. Get this out of here. Leave three. And then we're going on a journey of the world here to do a lot of damage as best as we can here. All right, I have to split again. Leave, uh, looks like they have long turn timers here. Makes life a little bit easier. Get this. And this. Work our way through here. Long turn timers help me out quite a lot, actually. We can move down through here. Up through here. All the moves. All the action. I think you're down to 23 troops. I think we can win right here, actually. If I don't mess up my actions, my movements... I just need to not pin my troops, so we're okay. It's looking very good here. I'm feeling pretty good about our chances. I'm paying a lot of attention to these little lines. I'm going to do three splits here. Not great. What if we did like that and just had them roll through? Keep an eye on the timer. They could have a card trading forward. They probably do, in fact. That card trading forward would cause me a lot of problems. Luckily, car the turn timer being very long helped me out a lot here. Didn't have to go too quickly. Could take my time and do it right. Well played. Good game. And there it is. Wait for it, wait for it. And there it is. You'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Unless you're curious to see the ranks. We'll check those out. Beginner, beginner, intermediate. All right. But see you next time.